More than a third of people in Scotland find energy bills unaffordable. That's according to Citizens Advice Scotland, who are launching a campaign urging customers to get advice if they're struggling this winter. They say rising energy costs and falling incomes are creating a perfect storm. Here's Brandon Cook. And I just feel like um, I shouldn't be in this kind of situation, that being able to heat my home should be affordable for me. Julie lives in this small one-bedroom flat in Dundee. She works full-time for a cancer charity, but earning a wage doesn't exempt her from the worry of bills. The more the prices go up, the more I have to spend time trying to manage money in different ways, and manage how I live within the house. What do I use? What do I not use? I've made the decision not to have a washing machine because I can't afford the usage of a washing machine every day, you know. The heating is only turned on if the bitter temperatures become too much. The taps always run cold. Hot water is too expensive. Dishes are washed by boiling the kettle. Everybody would like to be able just to switch the tap on and have hot water coming out. We need it for so many things in daily life. Um, but it's worth it if it saves me you know, a few pounds every month on my electricity bill. In the hallway cupboard lies a big source of Julie's frustration. A massive boiler installed as part of her social housing, costly to heat and on a tariff she can't change. It's just money to me, it's just wasted money and wasted space. So it just doesn't get used anymore at all. A new survey by Citizens Advice Scotland lays bare the predicament of people in Julie's position. More than a third of Scots can't afford their heating. Of these, a quarter say their homes are too hard to heat. Other reasons were more common. 40% said low income was an underlying problem. Two thirds said the cost of living is too high. And 80% pointed to the rise in energy costs. You know, we see more and more people that have got debt accruing on their energy account. And ultimately, it just means that people are living in the cold. It's really important that, that people know that support is available and that you know, they can reach out and speak to uh, the likes of the Citizens Advice Bureau um, if, if they need um, assistance for that. Citizens Advice Scotland are encouraging people to ask for help this winter. In the meantime, those in Julie's situation face difficult decisions to keep warm. Brandon Cook, STV News.